Do I look any older? Yes, today's my birthday. We are having my birthday breakfast here. Shelby made us some French toast, some eggs. Brady's enjoying it right now, aren't you? Are you loving that? That's more butter than that kid's ever had in his life that is in that French toast. So yeah, we're gonna sit down and enjoy breakfast. We're gonna go out to eat this morning, but we decided just to make it here and just hang out at the house, just chill for a bit. So now I took a shower, got all ready to go do something that we really can't do right now because Brady has to take a nap around, I don't know, one or two o'clock. So he has to take a nap before we can go do something. Shelby got all ready to, uh, well, her makeup and stuff. She's not dressed. I can uh, wear my new robe out. Oh yeah, she gray. might just be wearing her new robe out. <laughs> uh, so we're talking about going to a mall to go shopping uh, and then go out to eat tonight uh, because we have, you know, a 17 month old baby and we can't really go out and like party or do anything really active because Because he... otherwise we would definitely go party. Well, not party, but <laughs> I don't know. What else would we do? <laughs> I don't know what you do on birthdays. Have parties and stuff. I don't know. People, uh, we don't. But other people do go out at night and party and stuff. We never have in our whole entire life. <laughs> We've never been those types of people. So we're not going to be doing that. But I was wanting to go to Top Golf to go hit some golf balls. But Mr. Brady would never let us do that. He would be going everywhere, jumping off the platform at the golf place for sure. So we're not gonna be doing that, but we might go shopping for daddy some clothes, right Brady? You wanna go get daddy some new clothes? We have not been to my favorite clothing store outside of, you know, ZV, uh, since, golly, before he was born, I don't think. No, sure. Yeah, which is Zara. I love Zara, that's one of my favorite places to go shopping. Uh, but it's always hard to find clothes uh, when I'm in my off season at Zara because they're always so tight already. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit. Get it, Are you gonna hit me? Okay, what? well never mind. It was a false alarm. <laughs> okay, there we go. I I knew it was coming. So now it's like four o'clock. Brady, I think is still taking a nap. I'm not really sure. I decided I'm not gonna go to the gym today. I'm gonna take an off day on my birthday and then go tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna be recording tomorrow's workout for this video because of course I know you guys want to see a workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch that pool workout right now. So as you can see in the title, this is not a pool workout. This is actually an arm workout I recorded maybe like four months ago that I never posted on my YouTube channel. I posted it on my Instagram and I wanted to share it because it is a really great arm workout and I know a lot of people love arm workouts and they're probably one of my most requested muscle groups so let's go ahead and get started so the very first exercise was Smith machine close grip bench press I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps on the last set did a double drop set after that went into weighted dips I did four sets of 8 to 12 reps on the last set did a double drop set so for the dips here when I would do the drop set I had two 45 pound plates I would go to failure and then immediately drop off one plate go to failure again and then drop off just to body weight and then go to failure again. After that, went to single arm dumbbell extensions, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And the only rest I was getting in between sets was when the other arm was working. So I'd do one arm, immediately go into the other arm, and then back to the first arm. So somewhere around 30 to 40 seconds, uh, just enough time for the other arm to get done working. After that, went into dumbbell overhead extensions again, but I used both arms for one dumbbell. I did three sets of eight to 12 
12 reps. So I tried to go as heavy as I could go for those reps, but with good form. So I'm going down, stretching down at the bottom, going up at the top, squeezing up at the top. And if you don't have a workout partner, make sure you don't go to complete failure where you get stuck. Because if you get stuck behind you, all you have to do is just drop the dumbbell and your gym doesn't like that because more than likely it will crack that dumbbell. After that, went with wide grip cable push downs, four sets of 10 to 12 reps. So just a wide grip here and going up, stretching up at the top. When I go down, squeeze, pause for maybe a split half second or something, just enough to really just squeeze down at the bottom. After that, went into the last tricep movement. It was a machine tricep extension. If your gym does not have this particular machine, you can just do a rope overhead extension. So I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. And that completes the tricep portion of this workout. Next, we moved into biceps. So the very first exercise was bicep bomber barbell curls. I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. So I love the bicep bomber. I've been using it for years. A lot of people ask where I buy this thing at. And it is from bodybuild.com. You can get them all over the place, I'm sure. But this thing is incredible. Like I said, I've been using them for years. And what it helps with is keeping the momentum out of the movement. So you can't use your lower back to swing up the weight because your elbows are locked in there. So your elbows are right by your side and you're not gonna be using any momentum to swing up that weight. So I absolutely love these things. I think it's a great investment. So if your gym does not have one, they're about, I think, 35 to $40. So they're not all that expensive and they last forever. I've had mine for maybe probably five years. So they last a very long time. After that, went into line cable curls, four sets of 12 to 15 reps. So this is a little bit different. I'm actually laying down on a flat bench. So the purpose of this is trying to hit that peak of the bicep. So instead of doing like a normal curl, the tension is on your biceps just a little bit different so that you're hitting that peak. Uh, now, a lot of people say you can't really hit one particular area of the biceps over another. Now that may be true, but I think you should hit all different angles of different muscles uh, so that your body doesn't get used to a particular exercise. So that's the reason why I like to switch up different exercises. After that, went into cable preacher curls, four sets of 10 to 12 reps, and the last set did a double drop set. So the reason why I'm using a cable here is because it keeps tension throughout the whole range of motion. A lot of the times, if you use a barbell or easy bar, when you go up at the top, you lose tension. But with cables, it keeps tension throughout the whole range of motion. So if you've never tried this out, I really suggest doing a preacher curl using the cable machine. Now, a lot of the times your gym will be too packed and you're not gonna be able to uh, tie up the preacher bench and the cables at the same time. So if you can't do it, I would suggest using a band. So strap a band to that easy bar and do it that way because it will keep tension on that bicep throughout the whole range of motion. After that, went with the last movement was dumbbell hammer curls, four sets of eight to 12 reps. And on the last set, just did a single drop set. So what I'm doing here is doing both arms at the same time. And then when I hit failure, I went into alternating just to squeeze out a few more reps. But guys, that is an end of the workout. Hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. So now that you're back from watching that workout, I hope you enjoyed it. Now we're actually going to be going out to the mall to go shopping for a bit and then go out to eat. So I'm going to go downstairs and see if Mr. Brady's up yet. Like I said, I'm not sure. I've been up here playing video games on my new monitor that Shelby got me yesterday for Valentine. So I've been playing uh, Rainbow Six with my brothers for the past, I believe, like hour or two hours. Time flies when you're playing video games. So yeah, we're going to go downstairs and see if Brady is up. Is that kid still not up? <laughs> kid still not. Sorry. How did you do that? Is he still not up? No. Dang. He's I gonna sleep away my birthday. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Her necklaces always get tangled, even though. No, no, those are I bought her yet. this for that Christmas. Okay. okay so. That's magical. I love that. Okay. Out of fix Baby, hello, baby. Ready to go celebrate Dad's birthday? Ready to go to the mall? Are you ready to go shopping, Brady? Uh, uh. He is eating his grilled cheese from that restaurant we went to yesterday on Valentine's. Is it good? No joke, that is the best grilled cheese I've ever had in my life from that place. 
I never get it, but when Brady does, I always eat half of it. Okay, well, we just had a big incident. As you can see, Brady is shirtless, and the car has a cheese aroma right now. It is You're because- sitting back here. <laughs> It's because Brady, I think, just got car sick. I'm not sure what happened, but he just started spewing everywhere. He threw Dada. up all back there. Dada. Dada. But he's totally fine now. Shelby got him out, but yeah, he just destroyed his brand new car seat. It's really yeah, bad. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really bad. Great. That was a lot of puke. So what we did was wipe as much as we could with wipes and we're gonna have to throw that thing in the washing machine when we get home and we have to buy Brady new clothes. Right now he is just in a jacket that we brought because his shirt is ruined. <laughs> We've never used this adapter on the stroller before. Look how he is sitting or standing actually, just straight up. We don't know how to make that into a seat. He's just strapped in, it's like a roller coaster. But he seems to like it. Two hours later. So we just got done shopping. I did not find anything at my favorite clothing store. The off season is not nice to me because everything is too tight. Uh, I can go there when I lose about like 20 pounds, uh, when I'm you know shredded and stuff, I can fit in everything. But when I'm like this big, like 200 pounds, I can't fit in any other clothes. But I did pick out a long sleeve shirt in Macy's just for like dressing up and stuff. But now we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. We're not even sure. Brady's kind of in a bad mood right now. So I'm hoping he's not gonna embarrass us. So after about three years later, Shelby said, we finally found parking. We drove around this little parking lot maybe five times, no exaggeration. So we're gonna run in this Italian place to see how long the wait is. Uh, and if it's super long, we're gonna have to go somewhere else because right now it's what time? 7.40? 7.40, so we're pushing it because around... Now. Now, he starts really whining. So I'm hoping... He's hungry. Yeah, he is hungry, poor thing, because he threw up all the food that he did eat for lunch. So, <laughs> he's gotta be starving. Well, that was a bust. We walk in and the lady says that it's only for reservations only. So we walk straight out. So we walked around a little bit, found a different restaurant, a sushi restaurant, and we decided not to go there. Didn't look the greatest sushi restaurant. I didn't like no. the inside of it. It looked kind of, I don't know, very small and kind of run down almost. So that's the reason why we left. And now we're trying to figure out where else we're gonna go eat. And my arm's gonna fall. <laughs> And I'm toting around a purse. Are you hungry, buddy? What do you want? He's like, mm, well, do I get to choose? He's like, mm, that ice cream at the front looks good. That pizuki. Oh my gosh, we got some huge nachos. Brady's actually sitting with us right now. <laughs> So the food came, I got spaghetti and meatballs, Shelby got some ziti, baked ziti, and Brady got his own pizza that he's not eating right now. And for dessert, we have a pizuki. Oh yeah, that looks so good, it's a salted caramel. Oh my gosh, that was a hassle to find a restaurant. We went to Olive Garden first and it was an hour wait. So we went to BJ's and we got in immediately and the waitress was incredible. She did an amazing job. How you know a waitress is great is when you don't have to ask for a drink. She constantly was giving us refills and she even gave Brady a snack before the meal and we didn't even have to ask. So she was incredible. And then I got a free Pazuki, so that was incredible too. So now we're gonna head back home to get Brady in the bed because it is nine o'clock and Brady's way past his bedtime. Finally made it home and it is 10.20 at night. Brady is so ready to go to bed, aren't you, dude? You did good, you did good. He only had a couple of fits, but he did really good for how late it is. Say good night to the vlog. Say good night, say good night. Do you wanna give him a fist bump? You wanna give him a fist bump? Yeah, you love fist bumps. Good night, everyone. Good night. So Brady's off to bed. Now Shelby's in the kitchen baking a cake when I told her not to. It is 10.40 at night, oh. and she said she forgot to get me a cake, but I got I a pizuki. We didn't go tonight afterward, and I couldn't go yesterday. But I did get a pizuki at the restaurant. Doesn't that count? No. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna be staying up making cake. <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> Tomorrow is church. No, I don't ever go to bed before okay, midnight. But still, it's okay. still a lot of work for a little cake that neither one of us is gonna eat because we're Thank stuffed. We got done eating cake. pasta and a pizuki. Oh boy. Shelby has finished my cake. It's a beauty. <laughs> All right, you're gonna sing to me, right? Yeah. Gain, are you gonna sing since Brady's asleep? My firstborn. Are you gonna sing to dad? Sit. It's like, what do you got for me? Shake. Good boy. Oh man, it's off center. That's okay. Okay. Happy birthday to, to you. To Happy you. birthday, dear Abel. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look, he didn't want a bigger cake than that anyways. With 14 minutes to spare. Winner. Heck yeah. <laughs> well guys, I'm gonna end the video here because we're gonna go to bed. I am so exhausted I right now. I'm, I'm telling you, the older I get, the more and more tired I get. The you earlier. Midnight last oh gosh, yeah, that's what it was. We stayed up, but most of the time I've been staying up. I stay up until like two or three in the morning all the time playing video games. So I should be used to this, but I don't know. Gainer is over there playing with Brady's toys. I'm like, okay, is Brady up? <laughs> because who's playing with his toys? No, it's Gainer. But guys, thank you for going along with me uh, throughout my birthday today. I really did have a great birthday. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, peace. We're about to. So we're about to put him down, and then. So we're about to. So we're. And I'll see you all next time. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Gainer. Yeah. False alarm. Ah! Oh. Oh. There we go. I, I knew it was coming. <laughs>